This DIY is for the kids. Let's DIY a kid's house bed. I think even adults would want this project for themselves. Let's get started. As usual, I am using quality pine timber from Coal Timbers. Start with measuring your bed mattress and get those dimensions and then make a cutting list. I am using my compound mitre saw to make the straight cuts as well as the angle cuts later. Now that everything's cut, I am sanding the wood lightly on the edges and the surfaces and then I do a light sanding later once it's assembled before painting. There are two frames to this bed so I thought I'd start with that first. I'm making use of a handy corner clamp that's going to help hold the wood together while I drill in two pilot holes. Then I'm using a countersink bit so I can bury the screw heads and cover them later with wood filler. Driving in long wood screws and applying wood glue first to the joins and then securing these pieces together. That is one square frame done. You can see I left some legs for the bottom. And now you make the second one in the same process. Applying wood glue, using the corner clamp and driving in wood screws. Now I can work on the triangle that makes the house peak. Again using my mitre saw to make 45 degree angle cuts for the top to make a 90 degree angle. Then you join the peak of the triangle house point in the same fashion. Glue, clamp and drive in screws. I'm really happy with how the house peak angle turned out and now I'm going to work with the cut angles at the bottom to attach it to the square frame. I researched and made a cutting jig at an angle so that I can get to bigger angles with my mitre saw. Now let's attach the triangle roof peaks to the two frames. In the same way, wood glue, drill holes and secure with screws. This project is starting to look like the shape of a house and I'm excited. And now all I have to do is cover the wood screws and the countersink holes that I did with wood filler. Allow that to dry and sand. I've cut more wood pieces and attached the two railings that will sit above the mattress to stop the toddler or child from rolling over. The rest of the bed for me will now be assembled using pocket holes and the crate jig because I feel that's the easiest method how. And as I mentioned, I give everything one last sand before I transport it to where it's going to be finally assembled. I screwed in all the pocket holes at the workshop and now all I have to do is measure out where I need the certain parts and build it on site. Driving in those pocket screws into the pocket holes and watch it unveil and become assembled into a DIY house bed before my eyes. Here I'm attaching various slats at a spacer apart to hold the mattress of the bed. If this bed is made for an adult or a larger child or as your child grows, you can always add extra legs for extra support and strength. Don't forget to make use of the underbed storage space. Now it's pretty much done and you can decorate or paint and embellish as you wish. I cannot wait to show my little niece her new DIY house bed. Here's the big reveal and I think she absolutely loves it. Now you know how to DIY a awesome kids house bed and maybe make one for yourself. We hope you enjoyed this DIY project. Remember to follow us for more DIYs like this one.